height. <laughs> um, I think I must have started this video at least six times, eight times in the last three months. It's been a, a very trying time actually for me, for my family, for me within my family. It's, uh, it's been hard, but um, the fog is starting to lift quite literally. It's very sunny. Uh, and actually it's how I feel quite sunny. Um, of course, you know, there's everyday stresses in life, but, uh, but I feel good. Um, I'm currently on my way to the mountains. Um, Titus and Serena are taking the train and meeting me there. As you can see, the car is completely full of, actually, there's not that much in the car. It's just, um, one large thing, a grill. We bought a grill the house um, and there's no way for us really to transport it and us at the same time unfortunately so yeah I'm driving alone um, oof, what's been going on things have been actually quite good at work that's definitely something that contributes to me feeling good uh, we have a new manager uh, I'm not rid of the old one completely. He's um, now my manager's manager. And um, actually, he's been quite great too recently. I think, you know, with him um, finally being able to do and focus on the one job as the umbrella manager and not having to also manage the interior design team. I think uh, it's also a lot easier for him. It's probably not easy at all, but certainly easier not having to, to fill two pairs of shoes. Um, but the manager that we got, um, she's fantastic. She really, really brought structure into the team and um, openness and transparency and that's really really good and she's actually been giving me the opportunity to show what I can do and to actually do what I'm paid for which is which is fantastic um, <laughs> now I'm being put to the test and having to do quite a lot but you know this is what I asked for this is what I wanted and it's, it's teaching me a lot. It's teaching me a lot about myself. It's teaching me a lot about um, prioritization of time and uh, prioritization of um, points, time management in general. And um, actually the learning from, or the learning of prioritization has sort of bled into my my private life because uh, I've been prioritizing myself much more than I normally would um, and that's also been doing me a world of good uh, I have not many opportunities to actually take time for myself having a child and being married you can't simply come home and say I don't want to do anything or see anyone I just want to be you know you've got a two and a half year old who's like yeah let's go I have energy I need to spend it and I'm going to do that by jumping on your head <laughs> she doesn't actually jump on my head but uh, teaches his head for sure um, and uh, you know there was they they had gone away for a week and I did absolutely besides work I did absolutely nothing that week I didn't see anyone I didn't speak to anyone I, I stayed home I took care of myself I did uh, several spa days and just really you know I ate what I wanted when I wanted um, you know, because now when, when Serena eats, I make it a point to eat as well so that she's not eating there alone and distracted and, you know, um, you know, 
about all the things that two-year-olds do when they're supposed to be doing something else. Um, but it, it really, really helped me to ground myself, uh, focus my energy, focus my priority on myself, and I've been really, really needing that, I, I discovered. So yeah, things are good. Um, I have many projects coming up uh, at work and at home. I think the last time you guys were at my apartment, I was putting together some shelves, which I'm not really sure about. Um, they're kind of fulfilling the purpose now, but but not really. I, I saw the the um, the combination in the store and thought to myself, oh, well that would look great and it won't cost so much money, which will be great for my husband because he hates spending money, which I suppose I get. But mm, having lived with the solution now for several months, I'm really, really not satisfied with it and I'm it's going to take some convincing to actually let him or get him to let me change it. But uh, one thing at a time. We are uh, having the kitchen redone in the house and I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's, it's, it's not a non-functioning kitchen, but the dishwasher doesn't work and we can't take the dishwasher out because the people who put the kitchen in didn't remove it before putting down the new floor and the floor is higher than the base of the kitchen by about that much so we can't just lift the dishwasher out and pull it out um, and even if we could the space is too small because it's the old Swiss standard of having um, instead of a 60 centimeter wide element, it's 55 centimeters wide. So even if we did get the dishwasher out, we would have been unpleasantly surprised in finding that the new dishwasher that we have doesn't fit. So we just decided to just do the entire kitchen. And um, they've been last week to uh, take all of the measurements, two weeks ago actually. And now I have the appointments for when they're gonna come and uh, take away the old kitchen, give us two weeks to do the tiles on the walls, and then come back and put in the new kitchen, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. After the kitchen is done and all the money has been spent for the kitchen, then I can kind of try convincing him to, no, actually, I have other stuff to do in the house, so maybe, maybe I have to wait a little bit longer.
almost know. Um, and it's very overcast. Usually if it's um, cloudy in Zurich, it's beautiful here. And if it's beautiful in Zurich, it's even more beautiful here. But um, that's not what it's looking like right now. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that the weather for the weekend is nice and we can enjoy some time outside. Uh, the weather in this area changes so much and so often, so we, we, could, we could get really lucky this weekend. I'm hoping we do. Um, So it's the next morning and our children or our child and our friends and their children uh, have arrived last night and um, <laughs> our home looks like a war field. But this is really, really great. You know, the children, they're having a really nice time. Uh, they're playing quite harmoniously, actually. Um, there's been very, very little drama. Of course, they're, you know, two, four and 18 months old. so. You know, there's, there's bound to be a little bit of drama here and there, but it's actually going pretty well. Um, the weather is not as nice as we would have liked. It's at least dry at the moment. Um, but but it's, uh, it's actually quite comfortable to be outside. So we're, we're gonna take some time to, uh, to enjoy the, scenery and the, just the fresh air. <laughs> 